back everybody my name is Tim and this is another real ideal gear review today we're gonna to be doing a test a gauntlet on the f200 the uh, smalls watch or the uh, the tiny the tiny watch it's uh, the one I've done review on but we're gonna put it through a, a serious gauntlet of, of tests we're gonna do some vibration heat uh, impact all kinds of stuff with this watch to see how much this watch can take and we're going to compare this to the g-shock one of the things i have about g-shocks that i'm not real fond of is just the cost per the um, quality of of the shock resistance and things like that that you get from a g-shock so i think there's a lot of great non-g-shock casios out there that you don't have to spend a lot of money on and i think sometimes you pay for the name and not necessarily for the significant added quality so we're gonna put this thing through the test we're gonna knock this thing around a lot a lot of interesting things are going to happen so let's get started we're going to start off with vibration almost impact vibration to the point of kind of impact Not bad. It handled the first round pretty well. This was a massive vibration test in the back of a trailer through the forest here. Uh, I don't see any damage to the buttons. I think the crystal is even looking okay. There's the crystal. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Handled it quite well. Impressed. Just one time. This I got you time. from the knees up. Okay, let's go. Ready? And All right, that's it. You tell me when to hit record. Record. All right. Alley oop. Didn't work. Are we ready? Okay, airmail the F200. And alley oop. Ooh. That one sounded like crystal. <laughs> okay. Wanna to toss it up here? Hit record. Ready? Okay. One more time, F200 airmail. Oh, behind the cameras. Well, I just wanna do it one more time, but I need to get it. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Okay. What on go. earth? You have to mention extra hit. Wait, no, I'm not recording anything. Record. Record? F200, airmail, take three. Ooh, that, that sounded pretty good. That was actually take four. Take four. Here it comes. Try it again. One more time, here we go. All right, let's get this one right in front of the GoPro. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Nailed it. All right. Good? That's good. I'll come down. Okay. All right. Oh, that went whizzing by me. Did you hear that?
So on the off chance that you are flying in an airplane and the airplane crashes and your watch hits a tree, we're going to test that out because that's a possibility if you're in the outdoors, especially like Alaska, Montana, Idaho, that kind of thing. This thing is beeping away like it's scared. How did you hold this? All right, ready? Focus on the tree. Still ticking. Now that was a famous line for a Timex watch, right? Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. All right, so we're going to do the post-mortem review of this watch. This is the Casio F200. And uh, as you can see, the high-speed high impact of debris uh, really did a number on this. This is actually a piece of rock that hit the crystal. And it actually, this piece of crystal flew off. And I found it laying in the uh, sandy area next to the watch. So something I want to comment on is just how thick that crystal is when you look at that. That is the thickness of the crystal on a $16 watch. And uh, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Some of the uh, nicks on here, this is from the drops off the roof. Um, and also some of this stuff is also from uh, the high speed uh, impact of the debris. Um, can't, it's hard to see the, uh, I do have a couple of clips that you've already seen, but um, just kind of the progression of you know, being bounced around to being tossed around to being thrown pretty hard into a tree by a slingshot and then uh, absorbing the impact of some high speed debris. So obviously this watch is no longer waterproof, um, but it is completely functional. And there's a different alarm, stopwatch, reset, start, stop, reset, dual time, and even the light, if you can see the light here, I'll get the light. And here we go. There's the light. So even the light works. So kudos to Casio for making a watch like this. A quick comment is just the fact that G-Shocks are kind of the presumed captains of all kinds of abuse. I think this goes to show that you don't need a G-Shock to do that, especially when it comes to impact, when it comes to vibration that you can get a lot of watch for just a little bit of money with a Casio. And frankly, most digital watches, I think, can handle a lot of this. Uh, but uh, the, one, the one test on this coming up next is gonna be the water test. And I have a feeling this is gonna fail the water test. This is only water resistant and not waterproof uh, or water resistant to a certain depth. So I think uh, we're gonna see a little different outcome on that. I'm really, really impressed with the impact resistance and the functionability afterwards of this watch. So there you go. There's another Real Ideal Gear review. My name is Tim. Leave your comments and suggestions down below. If you have another watch out there that is relatively inexpensive that you want to see a test like this done on, we can certainly take that into consideration. But let us know what it is and what you'd like to have done with it. If you have any ideas, put those down in the comments below. I appreciate all the time you guys take to watch the video all the way to the end. And we'll see you guys next time.